This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, Poster is 18 inches high and 24 inches long. It was made by enlarging a photograph that was 3 inches high. If the photograph was proportionally enlarged, how long was the original photograph? So not surprisingly, we're going to use a proportion to solve this one. Again, a proportion is nothing more than two fractions that are set equal to are proportional to one another. And I'm going to fill in the left-hand side of the equal sign with the information I know. Notably that the poster is 18 inches high and 24 inches long. Now, I want you to pay close attention to how that I filled that in. We have height in our numerator over length in our denominator. So as I fill in the right-hand side of the equal sign, I'm going to keep this the same. All right, so we know the photograph was 3 inches high, so I'm going to put that 3 inches in my numerator, and we don't know its length, so we'll call that x. Now, the typical way you solve proportions is like this. You do cross multiplication. 18 times x is 18x equals uh, 24 times 3. That's the typical way to solve proportions. But that said, uh, you want to be able to solve this one quickly and accurately since you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator on test day. And the way you're, we're going to do that is by saying this. To make uh, a height of 3 inches become 18 inches, we would multiply it by 6. So to make this unknown length, 24 inches, we're also going to multiply it by 6. Uh, 24 divided by 6 is 4. So we know that this original photograph had a length of 4 inches. That is the quick way to solve this one. That said, uh, let's say you didn't know that little trick. Again, you can solve this one as you normally would. 18 times x equals uh, 24 times 3. Uh, 24 times 3 is 72. Again, you could do that off to the side if you need to. 3 times 4 is 12. Bring down to 2, carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Uh, 18x. Again, we're solving for x, so we're going to divide both sides by 18. This says x equals 72 divided by 18, which is 4. So no matter how you solve this one, you can see that you get the same answer. But again, be mindful that on test day, you're not going to have a reference sheet or a calculator. So you want to solve these as quickly and easily as possible.